Am I the a-hole for exposing my ex-husband for taking the gift I got for my son's 16th birthday? My female 36 ex-husband, male 37, divorced me after I got diagnosed with cancer. He made it all about him, then blamed me for our marriage failing, got married to a 23-year-old woman who calls me by mocking nicknames. I tried to have a good co-parenting relationship. I have a 16-year-old son who lives in both houses. His 16th birthday was days ago, and I bought him a console and sent it to his dad's house in advance since I was out of town and couldn't attend the birthday celebration. Two days later, one day before the birthday, my ex-husband called saying he opened a gift I got for our son, used it, and broke it. I was in dismay when he told me, and I started arguing with him about paying for it to replace it. But he started pleading saying he has no money and asked that I either send another gift, didn't have to be a console, or just tell our son I didn't send him a gift. I told him no way I was going to lie to my son, but he kept begging saying he'll pay me back once he's able. I ended a call with him then immediately called my son to let him know what his father did to his birthday gift. A huge fight ensued, and my ex-husband called me yelling saying I not only ruined our son's birthday celebration, but ruined his relationship with him over a stupid console that he was going to pay for, her, but that I was being spiteful trying to one-up him. My son went to stay at my place with my current husband, and he hasn't been speaking to his dad. His dad is blaming me because our son refused to stay and celebrate his birthday there after finding out what his dad did. My ex-husband's wife berated me in a long text talking about how I caused a scene and used my son as a tool to get back at his dad when I could have worked things out like a mature adult. She said she doesn't get me and that there's something wrong with my personality. She even claimed she would be a better, more mature mom than me but never involved her kids in her fights with her partner. I was upset by her lecture and felt maybe I mishandled the situation and made a hasty decision. Am I the a-hole? Now for the top comments. Not day home. Your ex is a piece of work. First, he should never have opened a present. And second, how the heck do you break a console that fast? I don't know what it was, of course. But like, I have a Switch and an Xbox. And they've both taken quite a few good knocks over the years with no issue. You sure it didn't just return or pawn it? Edit. After some more thought and discussion below, I 100% think he stole it. Whether he pawned, returned, or kept it for himself, I don't know. But I just have trouble believing he just somehow broke a console beyond repair and binned it without discussion. And nobody else around. It's just way too suspicious. Right, I don't see how he broke it so quick. Like, I've dropped my PS4 a couple of times and the thing is old and still not broke. Also, Opie, you're not day home. And I'd block your ex-husband's wife and only talk to your ex-husband about your son. But the stepmom needs to step out of it because she doesn't get a say. And your ex can't be mad if his son won't talk to him anymore. He's annoying. And he didn't have to open his son's gift when it was for the son, not him. Not day home. What kind of a grown man opens his kid's birthday gift, uses it, and just like magic, breaks it? I'm ready to bet he broke the gift on purpose because he didn't buy your son anything and didn't want to look like a loser. Of course, for them it's okay for your son to believe that his mother didn't bother buying him a gift, but it's not okay for your son to know that his father is a selfish idiot. Also, the fact that the son believes his mom probably shows he knows what kind of a-hole his dad is. Not day home. Not day home and you need to tell the ex's new wife to sit down and shut the heck up. You are co-parenting with a father, not her. She's the type that has a loud mouth and acts like she's older than me and knows better, always criticizing me and getting herself involved in any arguments that occur. Big girls fix their mistakes. And since you're so insistent on putting yourself in affairs that don't concern you and trying to be the better mom, why don't you be a doll and cash up for the new console? Not day hole, obviously. And how does a console just break without a foul intent? You don't have to play nice with condescending leeches. Next story. Am I the a-hole for siding with my daughter when she said she doesn't want to stand up for her stepsister? I, 48 female, have been with my husband, 50 male, for six years now. I have a daughter, Bex, 16 female, from a previous relationship. And he has a daughter, Stella, 16 female, from his previous relationship. Bex and Stella go to the same school. Bex is a cheerleader while Stella is a quiet person. She likes to keep to herself and doesn't have a lot of friends. 
Max, on the other hand, is friends with the whole cheer squad. Recently, Estella informed my husband and I that some other girls at school, who are not friends with Bex, have been picking on her during lunch. Stella doesn't want to involve the school because she would get into trouble for other unrelated matters. So my husband asked Bex if she could stand up for Stella and tell the other girls to back off. He feels that since Bex is a popular cheerleader, people will listen to her. Why thinks this? I have no idea. Anyway, Bex said no. She said she doesn't want to fight someone else's fight. She doesn't want to make herself a target either. My husband then asked me if I could ask Bex. I did and she said no again. I informed my husband that she rejected. He got angry and told that Bex is a spoiled blonde princess who thinks she's a nicer version of Regina George. Literally said that. My ex is a lawyer, single and no other child so she does have some nice stuffs. And went on a rant about how popular girls have an easy time just being on the sidelines and not doing anything to stop booking. I told him that while it would be a nice thing for Bex to stand up for Stella, she isn't obligated to do anything. At dinner, he brought it up again. Stella was quiet and didn't say anything, and when Bex said no again, he started yelling at her. I yelled at him, told him to leave Bex alone, and he stormed off. Bex has since then staying with her father. Yesterday, my husband tried to call Bex, but my ex answered and told him to leave her alone. He then started telling me to talk to her. I said I already did, and she said no, and I wasn't going to force her. He called me an a-hole and hasn't spoken to me since. Am I the a-hole? Edit. For everyone asking, the reason Stella says she doesn't want the school involved is that she cheated on a test. But Bex has told me that Stella once used a racial slur which is strictly against school policy. But Stella hasn't confessed to that. Not a home. This is just wrong. A grown man harassing a teenager? Your ex is a lawyer. Do you see where this might end up? Opie seems to be an a-hole to her daughter, so I think everyone sucks here except Bex. If someone called my daughter a spoiled Regina George and bullied her in her own home, there would be some serious consequences. I wouldn't be questioning whether I was being the bad guy with my husband or stepkid, who might even be an instigator here, given that she thinks she will face consequences from the school if she goes to them about the bullying. What a terrible situation to put Bex in. Hopefully, she can stay at her dad's and Opie will apologize and prioritize visiting her and taking her out one-on-one. -on -one. Your husband is a bully. Yelling at and then calling a 16-year-old to continue arguing with her? Wow, not appropriate. Being popular in school is a slippery slope. Just because Bex is hanging out with a bunch of girls doesn't mean she controls the group. Plus, if the group picking on Stella isn't in any way related to the cheerleader group, she has no pull. So not only is it not Bex's responsibility to fix this, she probably can't. Lastly, why can't Stella defend herself? Why is she helpless? And why can't she go to the school? If she's going to get in trouble if she tells, then there's a bigger issue here. Next story is titled... Am I the a-hole for telling my girlfriend it's weird that she wants to name our son after her dead ex-boyfriend? My third one male girlfriend's 30 female ex-boyfriend passed away seven years ago from sickle cell disease. They shared a son together who is nine years old. I adore him and look after him like he's my own. As for us, we began dating three years ago and everything has been going really great. She is currently six months pregnant and we are having a boy. We're both really excited, but there is tension between us because she suggested that we name our son after her ex-boyfriend, which I instantly said no to. That's definitely not happening. So she then asked if it could be his middle name then because it would mean a lot to her. I told her it's extremely weird because our kid has absolutely no relation to her ex-boyfriend and it's offensive to me to have our son named after a dead guy that she used to date. She got all crappy with me and said I was disrespectful and wasn't taking her feelings into consideration, blah blah blah. And then told me to remember that dead guy she used to date is the real father of her son. I don't think it was fair to rub that in my face. So now we're both pissed off with each other. I genuinely think it was out of line for her to even ask me that. Not to mention inappropriate. Am I the a-hole? Now for the comments. Not the a-hole. I can't believe she threw that real father statement in your face. That makes her the a-hole, pregnant or not. 
She should have named his child after him, not yours. I don't think she's the a-hole for asking. The middle name suggestion was a pretty good compromise as well. But it is his kid too. And I'm sure if I was in this situation, I'd have a Randy Jackson, that's a no from me dog, reaction. She turned into the a-hole as soon as she had to remind him that he's not her son's real father. Not the a-hole. F that. That isn't his kid. It's your kid. That is insanely disrespectful. And I can't believe someone would suggest naming a child she had with her current boyfriend after an ex. That is a huge red flag, my man. Not day home. She has a whole kid from her ex. Why does your son have to be named after him? Is she still in love with her dead boyfriend? She needs to get some counseling. That isn't her ex's son at all. Her asking to name him after the ex is so inappropriate and weird. To be fair, I feel like it's valid to still love someone who passed away even if you're in another relationship. But you can't let that influence your current relationship and make your significant other name his child after the guy. I feel bad for her. She needs therapy, it sounds like, to get over the big stuff. Next story. Am I the a-hole for implying that my boyfriend is cheap because of the Valentine's Day gift he got me? I, female 31, have been with my boyfriend, male 37, who's a single dad with two boys for two years. He has a decent job with decent income and is into woodworking as a hobby. For Valentine's Day, birthdays, and every other celebration, he'd gift me mostly jewelry and I get him his favorite gadgets or sports gear. For this Valentine, I got him sneakers and I found out today that his gift for me was a wooden framed photo of him, me, and the kids. I gotta say, I wasn't thrilled with it. When I told my boyfriend my honest opinion, I didn't want to open my mouth, but he pushed me. He said he couldn't believe this was my reaction. But I pointed out that he has money too for a $200 necklace at least, so I could wear it at the engagement party. But he said I was out of line to imply he was being cheap, when all he was doing was to make me a special gift. I'd also had kids help with it and put so much thought and effort in it because they see me as a family and I should be appreciative of that. I said I was, but still thought he could have added a necklace as a great combo, but he got even more mad, saying he couldn't understand why I'd value a necklace as much as, or even over a special gift he and the kids made for me. We went back and forth on this and breakfast got ruined. He went upstairs and refused to speak to me. I feel like he blew this out of proportion since he asked for my opinion, and I don't know if he has the right to be upset with me now. Am I the a-hole? For Valentine's Day, birthdays, and every other celebration, he'd gift me mostly jewelry. So, you don't have enough jewelry yet? How many necks do you have? Yeah, he has more than a right to be upset with you. Wear an old necklace and appreciate what you have with this man and his kids. You're the a-hole. Plot twist? Opie's a giraffe. But I'm gonna say it. A $200 necklace really is not great anyway. If you're gonna be shallow, go all the way. You're the a-hole. I'm assuming he made a frame, which takes a lot of time and effort. Every minute of the project, he would be thinking of you. Then I found a photo of him and his kids and you. He is literally presenting you with an image of you as part of his family. And you're complaining as it's not worth a lot. Do you know the minimum value of the wood? Then add that to his time. Entitled much? I'm wondering if the image of the family together is something that he was planning to make happen. With an engagement ring at dinner, a more intimate affair than breakfast with family. And he was really asking how she felt about being in that picture and not the gift itself. Definitely Opie is DA home. Wonder if he holds back on that ring. I agree. Opie may have just showed their true colors and made him do a rethink. This could be life-changing. You're the A-Home. His gift is awesome and amazing. The fact that you're upset because of the dollar value is sad. There are things in life that are more important than money. Those three people in that picture and who made that frame are more valuable than a necklace. I mean, the dollar value actually is probably quite high if you consider the time it took him to do it. And his hourly pay plus the time it took to go buy the materials. And of course, the price of the materials. Now for the last story. Am I the a-hole for being ungrateful that my boyfriend keeps getting me chocolate? So, my boyfriend and I have been together for 8 months, and we get along and everything. 
I don't like chocolate, except dark chocolate, like Jermans. I had a dairy allergy when I was a kid, and even though I outgrew it for the most part, I just don't like chocolate. My boyfriend seems to think he'll get me to like chocolate because all girls like chocolate, and it's weird I don't. He has given me chocolates for every holiday, either with a different gift or chocolate was the gift. He tells me to just try it, so I do, and end up disliking it, so he eats it. It's annoying to put thought into his gift, and he keeps purposely getting me something I dislike. We did Valentine's yesterday, and he gave me three things of chocolate. I was sorta of annoyed. It is said I was being ungrateful and Valentine's is a chocolate holiday. So what do you expect? My ex-boyfriend one time got me donuts for Valentine's Day because he knew I hated chocolate. I told him I'm never going to like chocolate and it's not funny or whatever he thinks it is. He said most girls like chocolate and I should be happy that he even remembers to get a gift. That is not his fault I'm so picky. Maybe he's right and I'm just being stubborn or something. Am I the a-hole? Not the a-hole. He is demonstrating, repeatedly, that you do not matter to him. Believe him. Also, that he's using Opie to get himself a gift. He knows she doesn't like chocolate, but he does. So he uses trying to convince her to get himself chocolate. Next, it will be all girls like bawling balls that say Homer. Not the a-hole. Find someone better her. You don't need to put up with this. Yeah, eight months in and his true colors already showing. She really should call it quits. What happens next time when he buys something else she's not into, but comes away with, but all other girls like that? He is very selfish. Would it be surprised if he bought the chocolates in the hope that he gets to eat them because he knows she won't? Not day home. If you've specifically told him, I don't like this thing, but he keeps giving it to you anyway, then he has no respect for your opinion. Honestly, when I see chocolate or flowers given as a gift to a woman, all I think is that dude giving it to have zero thought. It's generalizing. It frankly sexes to assume all women appreciate that. Yep, can't believe I had to scroll this far to see someone point out that believing stereotypes about women over what this particular woman has told him repeatedly, what she does and doesn't like is so sexist. Opie, find someone who treats you like an individual and not a physical embodiment of their idea of a woman. 